Hi, this is Linda and Aaron with Traveling Flamingo. And do you want to enjoy some home-cooked Florida cuisine? Then you're going to want to check out Chef Art Smith's Homecoming. They've got locally grown foods, fun Floridian-inspired chicken, and a shine bar. Today we're going to go over the atmosphere, location, menu, and experience, and more. So make sure you stay tuned to check it all out. So we're going to start with atmosphere and theming. There's a lot of really nice open areas here. It's got a very nice sort of farm kind of home feeling to it. It's designed with a bunch of exposed wood. There's a large bar and dining area. There's an open kitchen. And it's also designed right on the water there. So the location of this restaurant is actually in the landing. And uh, you, when you cross the bridge from the marketplace to the landing, you go over this waterway and it sits right on that, which really gives you a nice sort of view of what's going on within Disney Springs. It's got a very homely feeling with lots of pictures of Chef Art Smith and his roots in Florida. And this was opened in 2016. So for the location, it is in Disney Springs in the landing, which is near Morimoto's Asia and Raglan Road. There is lots of parking at Disney Springs to get there. They also have ride share drop-offs. You can get a boat or a bus if you're staying at a resort there. So lots of opportunities to get there in different ways. Some of the other restaurants that you might enjoy that are in the same area is Boathouse. We love Boathouse being there many times as well. And we have a review for that or Wine Bar George, which was a fun find last time we were there. And we have reviews for both of those if you want to check them out as well. One other thing as well, there is a new uh, extension to Chef Art Smith's Homecoming. There's the Shine Bar and Social. And this is kind of a little bit of a, a bar outdoor patio area where you can also order some of the food here on the menu. So that'll be really nice and add a little bit more capacity for this restaurant because it's quite popular. So on the menu, you will find Floridian inspired food. So what is that? It's basically a mix of seafood and Southern cooking. There's also quite a bit of um, uh, moonshine. So there's kind of the, the typical alcohol. It's in a bunch of different stuff. Uh, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. On the weekends, they offer a Southern brunch. So it's very Southern food, lots of like Southern home cooking and sort of deep fried food, which I love. <laughs> there are some signature items that you can find at the brunch, lunch, and dinner. These are the Church Lady Deviled Eggs, and they're $12. The Bee Haven Fry, uh, Bay Fried Green Tomatoes, $14. Fried Chicken and Donuts, which are great at $28. And if you really want to try one of these three, you can go anytime. A few brunch options as well. There's biscuits with jam and gravy for $8, short rib hash for $22, fried chicken and donuts for $28. And they have a bunch of different cocktails and mimosas, which are $10 and a white peach sangria for $12. Yeah, what would brunch be without a cocktail or a mimosa? I know it's definitely a tradition in my family. And I like that they do have a bit of a Floridian twist, you know, the white peach sangria and the blueberry mimosa. So for lunch and dinner, which is really the main events, they have a few starters. A couple we'll mention is the thigh high chicken and biscuits for $16. And they have a bunch of puppies, which are hush puppies for $10. And for me, that's a Florida thing. I remember the first time I had them was at a fish place in Florida with my family. So they definitely always take me back to, to those times when I have hush puppies. They have a variety of sandwiches. For example, they have the Art Burger for $18. They also have a few salads. The fried chicken salad is also $18. Sorry, the burger is $18, as is the fried chicken salad, $18. For mains, they are famous for their fried chicken, and they have Art's Famous Fried Chicken for $29. Country Fried Steak for $26. And some great desserts. Hamilton Country Pecan Chocolate Pecan Pie, for example, for $11. And again, this is Disney, so they've got great kids' plates and kids' meals as well. So they're all $10. They've got fish chicks, chicken tenders, and more. And similar to brunch, they've got a variety of beers, wines, and shines. All right, so on to what we had. So for drinks, we had a Whiskey Breeze. That was $13. We had an Old Fashioned Elder, which was $12. And we also had Yingling, which was on draft, and that was $7.50 per beer. We also had the chicken sandwich, which I really enjoyed. That was my order, and I love a good chicken sandwich, and this was a good chicken sandwich. We had chicken and donuts, and that was $28. We also tried the biscuits, and those were $1.75, and we ordered two. And lastly, we ordered the hummingbird cake, which was amazing, and that was $12. 
So I shared the chicken and donuts and the portion was great for sharing. It came with a couple of good sized pieces of chicken, donuts. We had it with mashed potatoes. The mashed potatoes were amazing. You got to love it when places rock the sides. They were so good. And something I'm not very familiar with is the sweet with my fried chicken. So they had drizzled or shaken the powdered sugar over it all. But it, I think it was supposed to be because that's the point of the donuts and there was like a syrup to dip it in. But again, great for sharing. Really great. The fried chicken is, you know, clearly the southern cooking and they nailed it. So good. We got biscuits with it. They were delicious. Aaron's chicken sandwich. I got a bite of that was really good. I think I would even get that next time and split it with somebody. And I'm so glad that I did split because desserts are amazing here. And we did go with our server's suggestion of the hummingbird cake. And it was so delicious. We, the three of us split it. It's a pretty good size. And there was none left. It was all gone. It was so good. I had the fried chicken sandwich, which I really enjoyed. It is buttermilk brined for 24 hours and battered. There's a bit of a hot sauce on it and some aioli dressing, which is really nice. They put iceberg lettuce, tomato, bread, and butter pickles on top of it. I really do enjoy uh, the fried chicken sandwiches. This was really good. There were also these chips on the side that I also enjoyed. I will definitely get this again. Sort of made me go on a bit of a fried chicken kick after this, uh, but they were they were really, really good. I, I truly enjoyed this meal, and I highly suggest anybody who likes a fried chicken sandwich definitely try this fried chicken sandwich the cake the uh, was really good the hummingbird cake was amazing uh, i kind of wanted to go in trying the shine cake but i'm really glad that we went with the hummingbird cake i'm sure we'll try the shine cake at a different time but that hummingbird cake was amazing so from the perspective of value and price and keep in mind this is relative to disney there's great portion sizes here you can half uh your meal if you want and always you can leave room for dessert so you know just half that meal so you got room for that dessert it's very fresh the flavors are really good it's very on theme so it does feel very sort of down home southern food but in a really nice atmosphere we will definitely go back they do accept the disney dining plan tables in wonderland and the, the annual pass holder discount and for clarity everything that we purchased uh, the the costs that we quoted are the regular off the menu costs so it will change if you have any of those options as well but we thoroughly enjoyed the value and price ratio here it was comfortable it was fun the seats were great the servers were great and uh, you can really sort of unwind here. We were here in the colder seasons. We were here in, uh, you know, during a colder season. And the outdoor patio was a bit too cold for us. However, uh, you know, if that was open and it was a bit warmer, it would definitely be lovely to sit out there. Aaron, you're not supposed to tell people that as Canadians, we found it too cold in Florida. <laughs> but definitely in those winter months, you want to make sure that you got your layers. So overall in our recommendations, as Aaron said, the atmosphere was great. We really enjoyed the food. Many of the restaurants in Disney Springs are now offering a bunch and each have their own flair. But if you're looking for some good traditional comfort food for brunch, this is definitely the place to go with the shine bar the dining room and the large outdoor patio there's great seating options you are going to want to make sure you have a reservation before you go uh, well now with covid some restaurants are at reduced capacity but even when we were there in the winter months which are not usually as busy it would the lineup huge people were getting turned away so make sure you use the app and do book a dining reservation before you go and as I said, I would go back. We don't have anything like this here in Canada and really enjoyed the food, the theming, and would, would enjoy going back here again for sure. So there you have it. Those are our thoughts on Homecoming by Chef Art Smith in Walt Disney World's Disney Springs. Have you been here? Have you eaten here? What are your thoughts? Again, we truly enjoyed it. We would love to hear from you as to what you thought about it. If this was a restaurant that you would go back to, we definitely will. All of the food that we ate, all of the uh, experience that we had there was really, really good. And this is in Disney Springs, which is very, very, very hard to find a bad restaurant. Uh, that said, though, this was probably one of our favorites. Uh, again, we do also enjoy Boathouse. And again, we have a review for that. 
Uh, and we also really enjoy Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar, which we will be doing a review for soon. So don't forget to like our video if you did. Don't forget to subscribe so you can see future videos about Walt Disney World, Disney Springs, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. We also do videos on cruising. So if you're interested in that, we uh, definitely suggest you subscribe because we kind of alternate between them. Thanks again for watching this far into our video. Please do comment in the comment section below. We love hearing and chatting with you guys about your experiences as well. Thanks again and happy travels. <laughs>